Okay, so in Team Klukas, one of the things that we like to do is we like to make our own cleaners in order to save money. For nine years, your family worked really hard to pay off debt, and one of the things we realized is, hey, if we make some of our own cleaners, they're super cheap. Like this huge bottle of vinegar costs about $3. This huge bag of baking soda we bought for about $4. And this vinegar has lasted about over a year and a half so far, and we're at this point. And this bag of baking soda has probably lasted two and a half to three years. So it goes a long way. The, these products are excellent because you can clean almost everything in your house with water, vinegar, and baking soda. So today what we're gonna make is make two different kinds of cleaner. The first one is super, super simple, and this is like an all-purpose kind of cleaner. Um, for the longest time when we were super duper in debt and we had little to no money because we were trying to pay off all that lovely student loan, we would only use two items, and that was just vinegar and water. And now that we have a little extra um, space in our budget, we are using essential oils now, lemon, to clean with because it's excellent in disinfecting things, it's excellent in keeping bacterial growth and growth of things from growing um, on surfaces. So we use this anywhere basically. You can use it to do your countertops or do your area spots on your floor or do baseboards or doorknobs if people are sick or light switches when they're sick or all those places where little kids like to touch and leave um, fingerprints, you can clean, use this for all that stuff. So, what I do is I stick in about enough vinegar to here. I do not have a funnel, which is the only bummer of this whole thing, so it's probably gonna end up on the countertop. So do about this much vinegar. If you're gonna do something that's super sticky and gross and you need a lot of like you need a lot of power to remove whatever it is you're taking out then I would go ahead and put more vinegar in if you're just doing light cleaning like removing some basic dirt and grime just do about a smaller portion of it but you see what works for you and what works for your sense of smell if you're sensitive that way I'm sensitive to the smell of things like like if something's stinky, I don't want to use it. And if I don't want to use it, then I'm not going to clean with it. And if I'm not going to clean, well, then that's kind of defeating the purpose of making cleaner. So then I add the water on top, just normal water. We go through it really fast, so I just use tap water. If you want to, you could use distilled water, which is another better way to go. And just fill that up. And then now I add some essential oils. For this whole little bottle, I'm gonna use about 10 drops of oil. And you have to count, so you gotta watch it. And lemon is excellent in cleaners. It's excellent in your water. It's one of my go-tos every single day. I drink just about lemon or, or some kind of citrus in my water, which is very refreshing and lovely but it is also super good for your body. So it's good like a little detoxing. And then I take it, put on my cap, and what I do is mix it just a little bit, mix this up the water and the vinegar and the essential oil. And on the front, for our family's purposes, my labels are super simple and very kind of not, not uh, fancy. They're just tape that I get a piece of scotch tape and I write on it, whatever it is, it says all purpose cleaner. And then I fold over the edge of it so that it doesn't stick to the bottle. And then I go ahead and stick it on top. All of our little kids are pretty much trained in being able to read. And then the non-readers just ask um, the older kids to read for them what's on the bottle or what's on the container. And the other reason why I like using it is it, obviously we have a lot of kids. We have six kids in the age range in the age of 10 um, down to five months old. And everybody, except for the baby, cleans. Even the two-year-old can clean. A two-year-old lay love squirt bottles. Squirt bottles are like the most exciting thing in their world. And if you can give them a squirt bottle full of vinegar and water and a little bit of lemon essential oil, they aren't probably going to harm too much with it. And they're definitely not gonna harm themselves since it's all edible. Um, 
that being the case, I wouldn't encourage children to like pop it open and drink it. But if they're squirting it on things and wiping it down with a simple little fabric towel, I always like to use the microfiber towels. You can get them from really nice high quality ones from Norwex and you can get some really inexpensive ones from like the dollar store. You can get like two of them at the dollar store for one dollar, which isn't bad and they work really well. And so kids, little itty bitty kids can squirt down on baseboards, which are very exciting and they can wipe them with a little towel or they can squirt a chair, which they've just left a lot of food in and they can help wipe off those surfaces. So it's a way for the whole family to be involved in cleaning and we really, really believe, and I really believe that kids can do all kinds of stuff. They're capable and intelligent and they can do um, great big things to help out the family. And it's important to instill in them when they're small that they are a part of the family and they can add to it and they should learn to clean up after themselves and to help the other people around them. So that's all purpose cleaner and I set that aside. The second thing we're gonna make, and this is a new recipe to me, is an all-purpose like scrubbing soap. And it's something that you would use for the longest time. All I would do is take some baking soda, sprinkle it in the bathtub, and take some vinegar and pour it or spray it over top of it. It would fizz up. I'd scrub it out, rinse it out, and done. But now I wanna try doing this because I've heard of slightly different ingredients, very similar, but slightly different. I heard that this works really well in being a little more, um, providing a little more scrubbing, bubbling action, which is supposed to be help, helpful. And we have a lot of bodies going through that bathtub. So we start out with a cup of baking soda. I'm gonna put it in this bowl. And this is Castile soap. I bought it off of Amazon. It came in a very large bucket. And one day to my sorrow, I opened it up and looked down in there and it had leaked a hole and I had lost some of it, but not all of it. So I transferred it into a glass container, which works awesome for us. And it's three quarters of a cup of, I'm just gonna use this, creative. My husband is likes everything done in proper containers and I don't so much. I'm more of a winger and a, you know, it will work. Okay, Castile soap. Baking soda, one tablespoon of vinegar, this is a very large jug, some excitement in there, and then again lemon essential oil, and again 10 drops. Okay, then mix it together. I think this is gonna be excellent in the sinks, in the bathroom sinks, and also, like I said before, in the bathtub, in the bottom of the bathtub. We live in Florida. Our kids go outside like every single day, and they wear flip-flops, and flip-flops basically allow their feet to become extremely dirty and disgusting. So all that dirt comes up into our bathtub, which leaves a lovely ring, even despite the fact that we clean often. And then because this has essential oils in it, I'm storing it in a glass container. And the reason why is because essential oils, therapeutic grade essential oils, um, if they are placed in plastic, the plastic will cause the essential oil to degrade, but also, the um, the plastic will be affected by the essential oil as well. So it's better just to store anything you have in essential oils into a metal or glass container. So there we go with that. I put on a cap, to, a simple cap onto it, and it again wrote soft scrub on it. Simple. The kids can use this. All you have to do is take off the cap scoop a little bit out, wipe it in the sink, and then just take their little microfiber towel, scrub out the sink, rinse it out, and they're done. And so cleaning day, hopefully it goes a lot smoother because they're excited to use things, they're excited to see use products that they see their mama making in the kitchen. And I hope this is helpful to your family, and I hope this is good for you. So God bless and have a good day.